Electoral votes are apportioned to the 50 states in the District of Columbia based on how many representatives and senators a state has in Congress. As you may remember, each state is apportioned two senators and one representative regardless of their size. The remaining representatives are apportioned based on population. So what you end up with is 538 electoral votes divided among the states roughly based on population with a little extra weight given to those small states because they're guaranteed at least two U.S. Senators regardless of how big they are. To become president, a candidate needs a majority of that, 270 electoral votes. The vast majority of the states award their electoral votes to presidential candidates on a winner-take-all basis based on that state's vote. So what this means first is that the presidential election is not a national election. It's essentially 51 state races. The results of one state have no bearing on the results in another state and the winner of the national popular vote will not necessarily win the electoral college. Secondly, since the winner of a state's popular vote gets all of that state's electoral votes, the winning candidate's margin of victory within that state is irrelevant. The only thing that matters is whether Clinton, Trump, or some other candidate gets more votes than everybody else within that state. 